High school football players are ranked on a five-star rating system, which helps colleges know who they want to recruit. The best players are five-star players. One piece of their equipment is also ranked using five stars, which shows just how safe they are on the field. The best helmets are five-star helmets. I spoke with Dr. Stefan Duma by phone. Duma is the lead researcher on a team at Virginia Tech that developed a helmet rating system. So the, the five-star rating system is actually, it's a very complicated system. Uh, we test each helmet 120 times. We take all the acceleration data. We look at risk of concussion. We map it to on-field exposure and boil all that down to one number, and that's the star rating. I also spoke with several coaches and athletic directors in our area, and out of the 20 schools that responded, most have three star helmets. Those schools include Conway, North Myrtle Beach, and Socastee. Socastee also uses some five star helmets. Some schools in our area are even on the forefront of helmet technology, including Dillon High School. The Wildcats just got new helmets, including the five star, excellent Rydell Speed Flex helmet just released. They're, they're, they're supposed to be the newest technology. They measure the impact and pressure that goes to the head during a collision, not only during practice, but also during a game. So they have like a sensor in them. They have a sensor in them and they have a computer chip in them that monitors what's going on. So with, the, with the front part right here, s supposedly on impact, it spreads it throughout the helmet where there's not a direct hit towards a part of the head, which um, you know helps with concussions. And if you were to get a concussion in this helmet, if you see right here, it has the four, what they call the quick points. Uh -huh. So with one little tool, within seconds, we can have this face mask off. That's a drastic difference compared to the one-star helmet on Virginia Tech's rankings that are least likely to reduce concussion risks. In 2011, half of college and half of NFL used that one-star helmet. So it's good to see that that's phased out. That's one of the main things we're trying to do is to get people into the newer, better helmets. But absolutely, there's a lot of people around the country that still will have that, that helmet in their inventory. I found no instances of those helmets in our area, but the lead researcher at Virginia Tech says that doesn't mean they aren't still being used. While most of the schools in our area used helmets in the three to four star range, Duma says even those helmets will soon need to be upgraded. As we move forward, as more and more better helmets are available, I, I think I would like to see people moving into those better helmets. But they're expensive. At Dillon High School, the football team just bought six of the newest helmets at $500 a piece. That's $3,000 and next year, they'll outfit the entire team with them. With 66 players on the roster, that's a $30,000 price tag but coaches say it's a price we have to pay to keep our son safe on the field. Here at Dillon High School, we, we, sp we spend a lot of our budget on the top, top of the line football helmets because I think that's the most important thing we can do for the players.